box in, in, in a different way to the Kazakhs do, don't they? It's, it's, it's funny how they've all got these different styles, and that's when the adaptability comes in with the top fighters in this sport. Well, one of the things that you'll see when you watch the boxers from certain countries, and England being one of them, you can see the stressing of the fundamentals. So you're not going to see, you know, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, not of the flash and the flare and the other, uh, other things like that. You know, again, we've used the phrase multiple times, meat and potatoes boxers. You know, and they they are that. You know, it's the fundamentals. And when you have good fundamentals, you can accomplish a lot of things. Here we go, there is the sound to symbolise the start of the opening round. Carrigan in blue, representing England, and Dos Santos in red, representing Brazil, who looks really nice and sharp already, nice, nice and light on his feet, but nothing which Carrigan wouldn't have dealt with already, not only in this competition, but in his previous experience and all the years that he's been boxing. One of the first things that you see when you look at these two boxes, you see how lean and long the reach is for Dos Santos. And we'll see how much of a part that plays in this contest, how much of a part he can make it play in this contest. Dos Santos is very busy with that left hand, just trying to keep Carrigan at bay at all times. And he has got a, uh, some long arms, hasn't he? Really long arms. but whether he can get close enough to land anything which is going to be effective. But John Joe Carrigan so far doing a good job of just boxing and keeping out the way of those long shots as they come in in a flurry. Exactly, and if you're Dos Santos, you want to be disciplined. You have the reach, so there's no excuse you know, for you to get hit first. So he's got to be, he's got to be disciplined, he's got to be patient, you know, but he's all, he also needs to be proactive. These two just still sussing each other out, I get the feeling. And that was a strong straight left hand from Carrigan, which landed in the chest of Dos Santos from Brazil. And Carrigan in that South Pole stance with them long pink stocks. Stocks, socks. Stocks are different things entirely. But that's a good South Pole jab from, from Carrigan as the two come together. And Carrigan getting frustrated every time that Dos Santos grabs hold of him, but maybe that's a part of the game plan, David, is just to frustrate him. Well, I mean, it should be, I mean, I think I, I don't want to make the boxing, I want to make the action less, you know, inviting or exciting, but if you are Dos Santos, there's no reason for you to have to deal with Carrigan on the inside, so once he gets close, feel free to tie him up and make the official separate him. His advantage should be on the outside, he should be firing, you know, from long range. Let's not make, we don't need to send in an infantry, we can do it with, you know, with airstrikes if you have that kind of reach, and Dos Santos needs to get to that. He does, and I just feel that John Joe Carrigan is just starting to fit into his groove here. His confidence is coming up. He's looking a lot livelier than he was in the first 30 seconds. And the moment the referee says, box on, he is there in a flash and straight on Dos Santos. As we go into the last 10 seconds, it'll be interesting to see how the judges have got this one because I think this was a round of two halves and Carrigan is the fighter for me who is finishing this round stronger. Well, I don't think it's going to be that much of a decision. I'm expecting to see Carrigan ahead on all five cards when we get the decision. And there it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. You know, uh, I thought that Carrigan, you know, he was the more active individual. I thought Dos Santos allowed himself, you know, allowed his punches to be smothered. And one of the things that is just not going to serve uh, Dos Santos well uh, are those wide hooks that he was throwing. You know, there's no reason for him to take the long way home when you have that type of reach. You know, he should, he should be able to make this bout so difficult for Carrigan or anyone for that matter because of that length and the reach that he has. And anytime he's not throwing a jab, you know, uh, he's doing himself a disservice. When you have a jab that long, you are truly doing yourself a disservice if you're not throwing. And he was throwing it very well in the opening minute, minute and a half of the first round. But as I said, towards the end of the first round, I felt that Carrigan had worked out his way in and he'd worked out his opponent. But with the instructions given in each corner from both Team England and Team Brazil, let's see how the first bit of this fight unfolds, or first bit of this round unfolds, sorry. 
Carrigan steps in and throws a, a sneaky short left hook that lands to the head of, of, of Dos Santos. And again, he needs there. Now he's going back to the jab. That's what he needs to do. There needs to be a steady diet of jabs being eaten by Carrigan if Dos Santos has a chance here. This is a bit of a battle of the, not just the jabs, but it's a bit of a battle of the straight shots. And Dos Santos was throwing a few kind of long hooks at first, but he's not doing as much of that anymore. He's not, and is and it's allowing Carrigan to be a little bit a little bit more reckless and adventurous, and it's allowing him to take more chances, and he's having success jumping inside. As he does right there, landing the right hand to the head of Dos Santos. And Dos Santos missing with those wild shots, or at least Carrigan is making those shots look wild because he's there to be hit and then he's gone because he's got good footwork. And look at the way that he just bobbed and weaved out of that corner. That was beautiful boxing from the man from England, John Joe Carrigan. Well, that's what we were talking about, you know, uh, between rounds is, are those wide hooks that, that uh, Dos Santos is throwing. And no one's home for those shots because they take too long to get there. You know, why you don't throw these wide shots that take so much time. Throw those straight punches. Throw that jab like he's doing right now. He covers too much ground with that jab, you know, for him to waste his time throwing those wide shots. And just as you started speaking, Dos Santos turned to his corner and his body language said it all that he was fed up and frustrated and not happy with something which had happened but there's no point looking at them he needs to get on with it in the ring himself he's got a job to do <laughs> well that's exactly what uh carrigan is feeling because he loses his mouthpiece and he doesn't even want to stop the action he kicks it to the side he wants to keep going the official's like no let's put it back <laughs> and you love to see it don't you love to see it he didn't want to stop you know that tells you he likes the way things are going for him right now why stop well yeah exactly he doesn't want the flow of the fight to change the pace of the fight to change because he is controlling it all isn't he really uh, hey, other than that distance because the only thing which he really isn't in control of his at distance because Dos Santos just keeps getting in there with them long rangy arms of him, wraps him up, which is frustrating and he's eager to get straight back to business as soon as he can. But you've got to admire the fantastic body and head movement of Carrigan. How many times has Dos Santos thrown shots and Carrigan has just slipped and bobbed and weaved and moved with ease. Right, he's nowhere to be found for those wide shots that Dos Santos is throwing. And if you are Carrigan, we want to keep it going the same way we are. Look, if the crowd is dancing, there's no need for the DJ to change the song. And so Carrigan is going to keep doing this all the way to the end, you know, to a victory uh, if it keeps like this. The man with all the one-liners. <laughs> Always a pleasure to work aside and with the first round I thought was a, 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 a round of two halves where this one I'm confident that the judges will give it there we go <laughs> there all, it is all, all of them once again to the blue corner and John Joe Carrigan who just needs to do more of the same if it ain't broke don't fix it well well here here's the thing uh for for, for me Darren right now the question that you have for yourself if you are Team Brazil right now. Tell me, Darren, because I'm, I'm calling it now. This is going to be a Carrigan win, and they're taking home the gold medal. Well, we, I could, we could have called it midway the first round. And, 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 and I don't mean that to sound disrespectful to Team uh, Brazil uh, um, and, and um, Gabriel uh, Diaz dos Santos. It's not that at all. But I would ask you, Darren, tell me the, the one thing that you've seen that, that, that – is working for Dos Santos that he can do more of that's going to make him win this battle. It's only that range, and he's not he's not using and it he's to not his, using it. He's not using it to his advantage. But maybe that's just because John Joe Carrigan just isn't letting him. He really isn't letting him because he knows all the tricks in the book. And when you've got an established and well-seasoned amateur like him who's been boxing for such a long time, they've been in there with people like this. He's been in there with those long ragey fighters, and that was a really good lead right hook thrown from that southpaw stance from the man from England, Carrigan. Well, and again, you saw Carrigan step in right there and throw a three-punch combination and then back away with nothing in return from Dos Santos. That can't be the way that this bout goes. It just cannot. And at, with open scoring, knowing where you are in this contest, going into these final three rounds, you know, I want to see more fire from that, from that uh, Brazilian boxer. Me too. And if you're just joining us, you're joining us for... A bit of a shutout performance from John Joe Carrigan of England. 
who is fighting Gabriel Dos Santos from Brazil in the under-19 men's 70 kilogram final. And here we are in the third round, as you can see, and in just a minute of 50 seconds, Carrigan will win the eighth gold medal for Team England. All he's got to do is just carry on doing exactly what he's been doing for the two previous rounds and what he's done so far in this round. Is he just nice and relaxed, just moves around and once again, oh, we've got a bit of showboat in there as he looks out to the crowd and sees where that punch went because it certainly didn't land, did it? Well, you know, he's got it in cruise control right now. He's not, he's not in danger of anything, right? You don't necessarily want to see boxers uh, uh, showboat or take their opponents lightly or anything like that. But the truth is there hasn't been anything that Dos Santos has landed in this contest that, that, that has given Team Carrigan any pause. Right. The, what has he given them to think about? What has he given them, you know, to, to avoid? What concern have they put on the mind of that blue corner and Team England? Nothing. So Carrigan feels the way he should right now as if he's being dominant and that he's less than a minute from being a gold medalist. And it seems that Dos Santos had run out of ideas within <laughs> 90 seconds of the first round. Right. And he hasn't come up with any new ones. And the, the one advantage which... He, he has clearly got is that di is that range and keeping him at distance and he has not been able to pull that off and as we go into the final 30 seconds here Carrigan really looking like he's enjoying himself and you can tell that by the spring in his step as he just bounces around and how can you miss those legs with those pink socks and those very say, fancy <laughs> Nike those socks boxing even boots more. liking them even more now than I did you'll never the forget them <laughs> And Carrigan is just moments away from winning the 70 kilogram world championship and being a gold medalist and the eighth gold medalist eighth. for England. Try not to sound so excited there. The eighth <laughs> gold medalist. I mean, you you got to feel good about that, right? There's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I mean, I am a, a American born and raised, and so I absolutely enjoy watching Team USA boxers have success at any point on any level in any competition. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Of course, you are enjoying watching your countrymen come here and do well in this tournament and doing, you know, if we're counting gold medals, doing something that we now know no one else can do. There aren't enough bouts left for anyone to win as many medals as Team England has. You got to feel good. It's okay. Let me let me hear some of the some of the English pride. Let me. Hear. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you I'll tell you in a second about my quick chat with the um, the CEO of England Boxing. Just in a moment. The winner on voice by unanimous decision in the blue corner from England, John Joe Kerrigan. Well, there it is, confirmed and official. The eighth gold medal for Team England. And yesterday, I was just having a really quick chat while the medal ceremony was just being set up or was at a pause with the CEO of England Boxing and I said to him you've done all right today <laughs> I said you've not I tell you what I said I said you've cleaned up today and he gave me the most English response ever and he didn't get so excited because English people don't really get so excited 